Nevada is richly endowed with natural resources and stunning landscapes. It has more mountain ranges, gold and other mineral deposits, and more geothermal resources than any other state. Nevada's landscapes are evolving as periodic earthquakes continue to build the mountains. Studies of Nevada's geology are therefore important for public safety in its large, dynamic, and rural communities and to support economic development throughout the state. The Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology, or NBMG, is Nevada's state geological survey. NBMG is responsible for understanding Nevada's geology and landscapes assessing its natural resources and analyzing its earthquake potential and other natural hazards. The Bureau is Nevada's geological survey, and every state has a geological survey. In about one-third of the states, the geological survey is part of a major university, and that's the case in Nevada. We're part of the University of Nevada, Reno, and we're within the College of Science, a research department in the College of Science. State geological surveys like the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology fill a unique niche that academic departments and universities or research institutes in the federal government or private industry do not fill. Not only do we do basic research and applied research, but we provide critical baseline geologic data. The Great Basin Science Sample and Records Library houses over 350,000 rock specimens, drilling cores and logs, mining and engineering reports, and aerial photographs collected over the past 150 years. Although the Bureau resides at the University of Nevada, we are actually a statewide agency. So we do work in all corners of the state, including, if you will, the burgeoning city of Las Vegas in the south, the major gold deposits in northeast Nevada, and then in, the, in western Nevada, analyzing the earthquake potential and geothermal resources in the Reno-Carson City urban corridor. One of the most important activities of the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology is studies on individual faults that pose hazards to the state of Nevada. One of the things that makes Nevada special, a special place to study uh, earthquakes and tectonics, is that Nevada is constantly undergoing tectonic strain. Nevada is a state that's constantly growing because of active tectonic processes. Reno, Nevada sits in a basin that's been formed through active tectonic processes with Research that we do at the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology, we can measure the active tectonic deformation of this basin and others. We know about faults that exist uh, around, the, around Reno, Nevada, to the east and to the west, that um, are experiencing slip over time. Earthquakes pose a significant hazard for the residents of Nevada. Nevada is actually the third most seismically active state after California and Alaska. One of the studies that have been recently performed by the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology is on the Genoa Fault, which bounds the west side of the Carson Valley. This fault can slip between three and five meters in individual earthquakes, and those earthquakes occur every two to three thousand years. We operate a geodetic network called Magnet. Magnet is a, a network of 300 GPS stations in western Nevada. This is where we collect geodetic measurements in order to produce the maps that you see. Uh, Nevada has vast geothermal resources, uh, more than any other state. Uh, the detailed research at the Bureau has led to the discovery of about a dozen new geothermal systems and also to enhancement of several existing geothermal systems. We estimate that oh, probably about three quarters of the resources are blind or hidden. And so one day, if those resources are developed, Nevada could be an exporter of energy to other parts of the country. Behind me is Virginia City, where mining began in Nevada in 1859 with the discovery of the fabulously rich Comstock Lode. Nevada is the leading producer of gold in the United States, producing 5.5 million ounces of gold, third in the world behind China and Australia. Now the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology plays a critical role in sustaining Nevada's vibrant mining industry. That industry has an $8 billion impact on Nevada and employs 10,000 people at an average salary of over $80,000 a year. 
The research that the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology does on ore deposits addresses the two critical questions that gold explorers face. First, where do you look? And secondly, once you're in the right place, how do you vector in to the actual ore body that they can mine? Another way the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology helps companies find gold deposits is through our reports and maps. A geologic map shows the distribution of rock types and faults, and some of these are earthquake faults. And that distribution of rock types and faults helps us understand or be able to assess things like mineral resources, geothermal resources, natural hazards like earthquake faults, flood hazards, and that type of thing. Our cartography and GIS department is a specialty group within the MBMG that produces maps and publications for our faculty, uh, students and staff within MBMG but also around campus. We're a resource that other departments can come to. Not only does our department uh, support campus um, faculty, staff, and students, we also support other agencies around the state and also federal agencies. With only 20% of the state mapped at a useful scale, an important part of the Bureau's future is to continue that mapping. Uh, mapping the remain, remaining 80% of the state, it would be very important for understanding geothermal resources, mineral deposits, natural hazards like earthquakes. Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology involves students in this research. The Bureau was definitely a factor in me choosing the University of Nevada at Reno. Well, I feel really prepared to go out into the work world at this point because I've been working around a lot of professional geologists for the past couple years. The baseline data on previous maps, geochemical data, libraries of old samples plays a critical role in the exploration process. The research that the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology is crucial in a state like Nevada because 87% of Nevada's land is federally managed. So that research is very important in making good decisions on the use of that land. The research of the Nevada Bureau of Mines and Geology is critical for developing energy resources in the future and mitigating natural hazards such as floods and earthquakes in Nevada's growing cities.